everyone, welcome back to my channel, or to my channel if you are new. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. It is a very sultry, sexy, cat eye type of look. In addition to just the regular wing liner, I also extend it to my inner corner, so it gives you that very elongated almond eye shape. And I did a very quick, like basic, simple shadow, so that all of the focus was on the liner. And then I did a nude lip. You could do whatever color you want with this because the eyeshadow is so neutral and basic. So yeah, this is the look that I came up with today. And if you like it and want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette, and I am starting with the shade right here, Light Pink. You're not really going to see it, but it's just going to help with the blending later on. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and just kind of throwing that into the crease. And then I am taking Mauve on a pencil brush and I am just literally drawing a line right through my crease just like you would do for a cut crease and if you don't have a crease this is where you can create one just kind of keep your eyes open so you can see where it's going to land when your eyes are open as opposed to when they are closed and then I will just go in with a dome br brush and start blending it out so that there isn't a harsh line up across the top and then I am taking the color Sable, just a light warm brown, and I'm just putting that on the very outer part of the crease just to add a little bit more definition out there. We are going to put on a wing liner, so I'm not doing too much here. And then again, blend it out. And then I'm just kind of going back in and dragging that mauve color further in and then blending it back out, just back and forth until it looks like I want it to. And then I am taking the shade Cream and applying that to my brow as a highlight. And I also mixed in a tiny bit of the white. And then we're going into the liner. This is going to be the main focus of this look. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. It looks like this. And I'm first going to start with a thin angled brush. And I'm just going to make a wing just like you normally would. Make it as big or small as you want. And then I'm switching to a more detailed pointed brush like this one and I'm just going to draw the liner on the inner part of my inner tear duct. I'm going to extend it outside of my tear duct just a tiny bit but most of it is going to be on the inner part and then you'll see here from this angle it looks a little bit um, messy but if you do get too far down you can go in with a, like a q-tip or something and clean it up. And then I am going back to the angled brush and running that gel liner across my whole lower waterline so it's a full connecting line all the way around my eye. And then I'm taking a black pencil and lining my upper waterline. And then I'm taking a pencil brush and running mauve across my lower lash line. And then a flat definer brush taking the black from the palette and pressing it up against the base of my lashes so that it connects right up to that gel liner. And then again I will go in and blend it out so that there are no harsh lines. And that is the comparison of the lined eye to my regular eye. And then I'm just going to kind of fast forward show you the liner on the other eye again so you can see it. And then we are moving on to the face. I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer, and I mainly just put this on the center of my face, mostly on my cheeks where I have larger pores, just to smooth it out and so the foundation will lay nicely across it instead of settling into my pores. And then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and I'm applying that with a flat top synthetic brush. 
Oh, and also, if you happen to notice, I already went ahead and did some mascara and lashes off camera before I started my face, and I will put what I used down in the description box. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a really popular one from the drugstore. Um, I think I've heard it compared to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've never used that one, but I do like this one, and I am just applying that in a triangle shape underneath my eyes and down the center of my face to highlight. And then I will blend it all out with a damp beauty sponge. This one is from Real Techniques. And then I am immediately setting it with a translucent powder. This one is from Laura Mercier and I'm just using that same damp sponge. And I'm mostly applying it underneath my eyes and then I will take the remainder down the center of my face and then I will use a fluffy brush to kind of dust it around and lightly set the whole rest of my face. And then it is time for bronzer and I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this one, it smells just like coconut. I got it on recommendation by Kathleen Lights a while ago and I am just running that like along my cheeks and my temples, hairline, jawline, basically around the whole edge of my face to warm it up. And then I'm taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, it's just a cooler tone and a more um, defined brush. And I'm just going to pop that into the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit along the temple right there along my hairline just to kind of connect it all together. And then taking that same damp sponge and the translucent powder, I'm just going to pack that right underneath my contour just to sharpen it a bit. And while that's sitting, I'm moving on to blush. This is the Morphe 9B palette, and I'm taking this shade right here. And I'm applying it with a stippling brush. I don't ever do this, but I just got this brush in my Ipsy pack, so I wanted to try it out, and I didn't mind it. It lightly dispersed the color, and these Morphe blushes are really pigmented so it's easy to get carried away so this kind of helped me keep it toned down and then as a highlighter to not tone it down I'm using this one by Colourpop I have been obsessed with these lately I have two shades that I've been using non-stop they're so affordable and as you can see they're just like super super bright you don't have to really even pile on a lot just as soon as it touches your face it is just like a beam of light this is the more white one called um, I don't know if this is, might be or flexitarian, but I have two of them. One is more white and one is more gold. So I'm just popping that on to the high points of my cheeks, my cupid's bow, and down the center of my nose. And then I'm also popping a little bit on the inner corner of my eye, a little bit further in towards my nose than I normally would because of that extended inner corner. And then we are on to lips. This is the Jordana Lip Pencil in the shade Tawny, which is kind of a darker nude neutrally kind of color because I am going to be doing a new lip today but you are welcome to do any color you want I think it will all go good with this eye look and then um, my camera died so I had to put in a new battery and suddenly the color changed I'm not really sure how that happened but I'm just brushing away my bake that I almost forgot about and then I'm moving on to lipstick this is the NYX liquid suede lipstick in the shade sandstorm Okay, so that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very simple, yet sexy and sultry. And like I said, you could totally change it up with a different lip color depending on what you're doing and how you're feeling. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.